Do you have difficulty with math? Worry no more because I have a solution for you. Let's have math classes with Mamshi. See you in class. This time, our topic is about problem solving involving rational functions and equations. The objective of this class is, at the end of this discussion, the students will be able to solve problems involving rational functions and equations. Remember, to solve rational equations, we should first eliminate the denominators by multiplying each term of the equation by the least common denominator. And lastly, solve the resulting equation. So we have here our first example. 10 goats were set loose in an island and their population growth can be approximate, approximated by the function p of t equals 6t times quantity t plus 1 all over t plus 6, where p represents the goat population in year t since they were set loose. How many goats will there be after five years? So, our solution will be P of T is equal to 60. Since our T is given as five years, we should substitute five into our T. So, instead of T plus one, we'll have five plus one all over Instead of t minus 6, we'll have, instead of t plus 6, we'll have 5 plus 6. So if we are going to solve that, we will have 60 times 5 plus 1 is 6, all over 5 plus 6 is 11. 60 times 6, that is 360, all over 11. And so our p of t is equal to 32. Point seventy three, or since there are no number of goats we having decimal point we have 32 goats those 32 goats were the population of the goat in after five years after they were set loose let's have our next example some can paint a room in five hours and gary can do it in four hours how long will it take the two working together so let's have our representations let one over five or one fifth will be the rate of sum per day and let one fourth will be the rate of Gary Also, let X be the number of days they finish their work together. And so, let 1 over X be their rate when doing together so let's try to solve this that's one fifth the rate of sum added by the rate of gari that will be equal to one over x or that is their rate when they do the painting together now First step is we should find the LCD. Take note that our denominators are 5, 4, and x. The least common denominator for 5 and 4 is 20. And x is our variable here. So let's have our LCD as 20x. Our next step is to multiply both sides of the equation with our LCD. Okay, so we'll have this 20 and 5. So if we cancel 5 and 20, we get 4. 
So 4x times 1, we get 4x. Plus, if we can solve 4 here, and 20 over 4 is 5x, so 5x times 1, that is 5x. Equals, when we can sell x here, we get 1 times 20, or that's equal to 20. So if we are going to solve this together and simplify this, we got 9x, 4 plus 5x is 9x, equals 20. Then divide both sides by 9. So our x equals 20 over 9, or that is in fraction, that's 2 over, uh, that's 2 and 2 ninths. 2 and 2 ninths hours, or in, min in hours and minutes, that can be 2.22 hours. Okay, that will be our answer for our example number 2. Let's try this. The function f of x equals 100 times 0 0.02 plus x times 0 0.005 all over 100 plus x gives the concentration of the saline solution after adding x milliliters of 0.5% to 100 ml of 2% solution. So this is representing 100 ml of 2% in decimal and how many ml of the 0.5% solution must be added to have a combined concentration of 0.9%. So all we have to do is solve it. So we have 100 times 0 0.02 plus x times 0 0.005 that is your 0 0.05 percent in decimal all over 100 plus x this must equal to 100 Sorry, this must equal to 9%, 0.9%. So that is 0 0.009. Okay, so if we are going to solve that, the LCD is 100 plus X. So we have to multiply both sides with 100 plus X. And also 100 plus X here. Then... This one will be cancelled. What is left on the right is 100 times 0 0.02. And 100 times 0 0.02, the answer is 2 plus x times 0 0.005. That's 0 0.005x equals... 0 0.009 times 100, that's equal to 0 0.09. 0 0.009 times 100. That's 0 0.09. And 0 0.009 times x, that's... 0.009x. Now let's combine similar terms. We have 0.005x minus 0.009x. So your this term will be transferred on the left side of the equation and so your 2 will be transferred on the right side of your equation. So we have negative 2 plus 0 0.9. If we simplify this, we'll get 0, negative 0 0.004x equals negative 1.1. And if we divide both sides by negative 0, 004, 
in order to find the value of x, your x will be equal to 275. It means that we need to add 275 ml of 0 0.5 solution in order to get a combined concentration of 0.9% solution. So that's it. Another one, a plumber and his assistant finished a job together in four hours. The job would have taken the plumber six hours if he was working alone. How long would the job have taken the assistant if he was working alone? So let 1 over x equals the rate of the assistant. Let 1 over 6 equals the rate of the plumber. And also, let 1 fourth be equal the rate of the two together. So let's try to solve this. The rate of the plumber added by the rate of the assistant is equal to their rate together. That's why we have 1 sixth plus 1 over x equals 1 fourth. Now let's find the least common denominator. The least common denominator for x and 4 is 12. And our variable is x. So therefore, our LCD will be 12x. Now, let us multiply the LCD in both sides of our equation. So if we can sell 12 and 6, we get 2x plus 12 divided by x, that is 12, equals 12x divided by 4, that is 3x. Now let's continue. 2x minus 3x equals negative 12. So 3x should be transferred on the left side of your equation that becomes negative 3x and 12 transferred on the right that becomes negative 12. So 2x minus 3x that is negative x equals negative 12. And so multiplying both sides with negative 1 to get a positive value, we'll have x equals 12. It means that the assistant could work at 12 days alone. Okay, let's, let's have our last example. A water tank is emptied through two drains in 50 minutes. So together, they can be emptied in 50 minutes. If only the larger drain is used, the tank will be emptied in 85 minutes. How long will it take to empty if only the smaller drain is used. So, same thing. 1 over 85 is the rate of the larger drain. Let 1 over x be the rate of the smaller drain. And also, we have 1 over 50 as the rate of the two drains. And for our solution, we'll have the rate of the larger drain added by the rate of the smaller drain equals their rate together. Next step is we have to find the LCD. Our LCD is 850x. So multiply both of them with our LCD, 850x. 
So, 850x divided by 85, we get 10 times, we get 10x times 1. So, we have 10, 10x here. And 850 divided by x, we get 850. So, 850 equals 850 divided by 50, we get 17, 17. So that is 17x. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, that's 17x. No, no, no. Again, 850 divided by 50. Since we have 20, yes, that's 17x, 7. So we have 10x minus 17x equals 850, negative 850. And so negative 7x equals negative 850. Divide both sides by negative 7 in order to find your x. And so our x is equal to 850, negative 850 divided by negative 7 will become positive 850 over 7. So this is the number of hours that the smaller drain will finish to drain the water. And that is equivalent to 121 and 3 seventh hours. Okay, so we now have a solution for the rate of the smaller drain. So what do you think is the best thing to identify or to do when you are solving for rational functions? All you have to do uh, for the problems involving rational functions, all you have to do is understand the problem, then represent each rational functions and find the solution, find the possible solution or equation in order to find the answer. So if you have set up your equation, your rational equation, you may now find the LCD, then multiply both sides with the LCD and solve the resulting equation. So after solving that, you will get the correct answer. So thank you for watching. We are done now with our class and we will have our next class that is problem solving involving rational inequality. For those who are new to my channel, just subscribe to my channel, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated of my latest videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned a lot from me.